A car salesperson revealed that their inventory of vehicles has been stocked for many years and is nearly rusting. Hey boss, come take a look. We've got Volkswagen Bora, Sagittar, Magatan, and Passat. It's the end of year stock clearance last month. If these don't sell, they're just scrap metal. What do you think is a fair discount? Drop 50,000 or 100,000 yuan. Are you interested in buying a Volkswagen? This retailer explained that car sales are currently stagnant. Initially selling cars in an open-air parking lot, the move to an underground location hasn't improved sales. It's not that the cars aren't good or that we didn't buy well. It's just that the market isn't great right now. Like this GL8, it's only driven 10 kilometers and been registered for five days, but it's still not selling. The latest G28, registered in September 2023, would have sold in two days before, but not anymore. They're just not easy to sell. In an effort to boost year-end performance, the salesperson is actively promoting several promotional vehicles in the store. The Camry, after discounts, is just over 150,000 yuan in full payment, and the Volkswagen Tiguan not only offers a 62,000 yuan discount, but also waives the purchase tax. And check this out. Originally priced at over 140,000 yuan, nearly 150,000 yuan for a Volkswagen SUV, now it's just 100,500 yuan in full payment. And the Volkswagen Passat, originally 200,000 yuan, now just 139,000 yuan after discounts. As the year ends, major Chinese car brands have intensified discounts and engaged in a price war, launching full-scale price reductions. Some automakers have slashed prices by as much as 190,000 yuan, causing consumers to feel betrayed. Amid the current economic downturn, the Chinese automotive industry is believed to be facing severe sales challenges. Chinese car maker BYD fired the first shot in the year-end price war, with its official advertising campaign promising up to 20,000 yuan off the Qin and Han series in December. The BYD Dynasty series also saw price reductions in December, with savings of up to 20,000 yuan. Following the policy announcement, there was a noticeable increase in showroom visits, but some consumers remained hesitant, fearing further price drops. In November, BYD launched the Million Ocean Gratitude event, offering discounts on several models, including 18,000 yuan off the Escort 07. Reports indicated that after BYD's initial November discount announcement, a new round of extensive price cuts began on November 24th, with direct reductions on car prices. The Qin Plus DMI and Qin Plus EV models saw significant discounts of up to 10,000 yuan. A BYD official stated that the November promotion was limited to that month, aimed at accelerating the transition from petrol to electric vehicles. However, BYD launched another round of price cuts in December, causing consumer confusion. A netizen expressed regret, stating, BYD reduced prices again. It feels like another betrayal. I just bought a car on November 20th, and today I heard about a 5,000 yuan price drop. I regret not signing a price protection agreement and wonder if I can get a refund for the difference. Despite the consumer, despite the significant discounts, BYD sales prospects are not viewed optimistically by industry insiders. On November 24th, BYD stock price fell by 5.24%, reaching a new 18-month low. Haima Automobile, Zatya Automobile, Zhongtong Bus, Great Wall Motors and BAIC Blue Valley also saw stock price declines. Analysts believe BYD faces pressure from competitors like Tesla in the field of intelligent vehicles and lacks imagination in the ongoing intelligent vehicle race, contributing to its unfavorable market perception. Besides BYD, Leap Motor also launched a promotional campaign offering up to 10,000 yuan in subsidies on all models. Geely's Lincoln Co joined the price reduction trend, offering up to 6,000 yuan in subsidies for those who booked the Lincoln Co. 08 in November and took delivery by year-end. Zeker began offering discounts from October 16, with a maximum savings of up to 51,000 yuan. A Beijing Cadillac dealership disclosed that the CT5 model could be purchased for as low as 204,700 yuan, with at least 75,000 yuan off, on several 2023 models. The China Automobile Dealers Association's Vice President and Secretary General Zheng Sanxiao pointed out that due to the price war initiated by manufacturers before year-end, the automotive circulation field has entered a phase of deep adjustment. 
Dealers are forced to sacrifice profit for volume due to high inventory levels. Industry insiders stated that the end-of-year price reductions are essentially a clearance of overstock, as failure to do so could lead to exploding inventory levels. In April, reports surfaced about BYD's inventory backlog and sales difficulties, with inventory levels reaching 100,000 units and sales below 35,000 units. September reports highlighted BYD's inventory exceeding warning levels, raising concerns about the industry's future. Slow inventory clearance by dealers could worsen the situation next year, potentially overwhelming them with unsold stock and risking financial collapse. A netizen, Ding Ding, disclosed that BYD has been aggressively overstocking throughout the year. To maintain its claimed sales volume and market share, the company engaged in data manipulation. Now, unable to sustain this practice, BYD must clear inventory to survive. Ding Ding noted that despite BYD's claims of selling over 200 to 300,000 units monthly, the company is under tremendous internal inventory pressure. Not only is there a large inventory of new cars, but the second-hand car market is also sluggish, posing transformation and survival challenges for small and medium-sized dealers. Recent research data from the China Automobile Dealers Association reveals that an alarming 92% of used car dealers have incurred losses in recent years, facing severe challenges to their survival and development. Recent used car dealers have expressed that this year has been exceptionally difficult, even worse than the previous year, marking it as the toughest year in their careers. In a video shared by a netizen, it is highlighted that the used car market in Shihua County, Henan Province, is oversaturated to the point of being problematic. The current state of the market is such that it's exceedingly difficult to sell these vehicles, leading to many cars being left unsold for extended periods and eventually becoming scrap. And there's the second-hand car dealer saying that the used car market is really tough right now. The cars in the video have been in stock for three or four years. Some have even reached their fifth birthday, but they're all brand new with zero kilometers. They're all being cleared out cheaply. This dealer is also worried about the current market situation. Here at Shenyang, Taiwan car dealership, these used cars—they're piling up like mountains. What's missing? Why do they all have to be sold at a loss? Look, I specifically climbed to the highest spot. See that? That row, those vans—they're all unsold used cars. What is wrong with China's used car market? The Chinese used car market is currently experiencing significant challenges, as detailed by Zheng Sanxiao, Secretary General of the China Automobiles Dealer Association, at the 2023 China Used Car Conference. He highlighted that the entire automotive market is filled with uncertainties this year. The price wars in the new car market have spilled over to the used car sector, intensifying consumer hesitancy and increasing caution among dealers in acquiring vehicles. The industry is grappling with shrinking demand, supply shocks, and weakened expectations. It is reported that new car prices are adjusted approximately every 15 days. This rapid pricing fluctuation means that within a typical 16-day inventory cycle for used cars, new car prices could drop four times. Considering that the gross margin for used cars is around 8%, a 2% margin loss with each new price drop can lead to losses if the car is not sold after four adjustments. This scenario underscores the difficulties facing the automotive industry. Additionally, the end-of-year sales frenzy in the new car market is thought to be driven by annual sales targets. For example, a Volvo dealership in Beijing mentioned that significant discounts, including a maximum of over 190,000 yuan off of the Volvo XC90, are being offered to meet year-end sales goals. This also includes a manufacturer discount of 140,000 yuan, a 20,000 yuan purchase subsidy this month, a 10,000 yuan store discount. And if choosing installment payments, the store can offer a further negotiable price reduction of 20 to 30 thousand yuan. Some netizens speculate whether BYD is trying to fulfill its ambitious goals. Wang Chuanfu, chairman and president of BYD, had set a target for BYD to become China's largest automaker in 2023, aiming to sell three million vehicles. To achieve this, BYD would need to accomplish an extraordinary sales volume of 600,000 units in the remaining two months of the year, a task that puts immense pressure on the company. In fact, BYD's sales growth has slowed down. 
Data shows that BYD sales growth in October was significantly slower compared to previous months, with a month-on-month -month increase of less than 5%. The slowdown isn't just confined to BYD's own sales, some of its suppliers are also performing poorly, with industry insiders revealing that giants like BYD are pressuring suppliers to reduce prices. An executive from an automotive parts company mentioned that recent pressure to reduce prices due to the overall vehicle price cuts, with industry leaders like BYD and CATL demanding significant reductions from their suppliers. In a notable development, Warren Buffett's investment firm Berkshire Hathaway has been continuously selling shares of BYD. According to a filing with the Hong Kong Stock Exchange on October 31st, Berkshire Hathaway sold 820,500 Hong Kong listed shares of electric vehicle manufacturer BYD for $25.78 million. Buffett typically does not comment on his ongoing stock transactions, but it is evident that such an experienced investor would not engage in a losing business. Overall, the automotive market is intensely competitive and price reductions have become a necessary strategy to meet sales targets. While discounts may help achieve goals, they can adversely affect the profit margins of automakers. The aftermath of the November promotions also reveal certain issues. According to a WeChat public account post by Choi Dongshu, Secretary General of the Passenger Car Association, retail sales of passenger cars reached 2.08 million units in November 2023, a 26% year-over-year increase and a 2.4% month-over-month increase. Annual retail sales are expected to reach 21.5 million units, a 5% increase from the previous year. However, the China Association of Automobile Manufacturers, CAAM, reported a different perspective for November 2022, with vehicle sales of 2.3 million units, a 7.9% year-over-year decrease, falling short of expectations. While the lower sales in 2022 could be attributed to the pandemic, the situation in 2023 differs with the pandemic's end and significant price reductions. Yet, the 2023 sales volume of 2.08 million units raises questions when compared to the 2.3 million units sold in November 2022. Analysts believe that the fundamental reason for the sluggish car sales is rooted in consumer spending power. Mere price reductions alone are insufficient to address the issue as overall consumption is contracting. The primary reasons for this contraction are twofold. Firstly, a lack of disposable income, and secondly, a reluctance to spend even when funds are available. Netizens have humorously commented on BYD's substantial car purchase subsidies of up to 6,000 yuan, questioning whether such incentives can truly stimulate car sales. They argue that the problem for many is not the lack of an additional 6,000 yuan, but the inability to afford the remaining tens of thousands needed for a car purchase. Some point out that for the automotive industry, the biggest adversary is the high cost of housing. With property prices overshadowing everything else, purchasing a home often means bidding farewell to the possibility of buying a car. The reasons for this financial constraint include lower earnings and higher debts, the largest of which is typically mortgage loans. China's economy is currently held hostage by the real estate sector, with the Chinese government's land finance policies keeping land prices high. This, coupled with collusion between officials and businessmen and corruption issues, has led to soaring housing prices. With relatively low disposable incomes, Chinese residents face significant debt pressure after buying a house. The high proportion of income devoted to mortgage payments make it nearly impossible for them to consume other products. The sharp decline in residents' economic capacity and spending power negatively impacts the overall economic productivity and efficiency of the country, creating a vicious cycle where less money leads to less spending, which in turn leads to even less money. We note that in 2023, the Chinese automotive market has been severely affected by intense internal competition, spreading from new energy vehicles to fuel cars, with several joint venture brands also joining the price war. Yu Chengdong, Huawei's executive director and CEO of Intelligent Automotive Solution BU, made a startling statement, suggesting that the current intense competition is just the beginning. He believes that the future market reshuffling and competition will be extremely fierce, and only a few major automakers will survive in the next 5 to 10 years. 
This survival will be contingent on their ability to make substantial investments in the era of intelligent vehicles and become giants capable of sustaining future development. This year, competition in China's automotive market has intensified, especially as the Chinese government ended over a decade of production subsidies for electric vehicles. Tesla's price reduction triggered a widespread reduction in electric vehicle prices, which subsequently squeezed the fuel car market. The intensity of this price war has exceeded expectations, with media estimates suggesting that over 30 automakers have joined the fiercely competitive price reduction battle. As the second largest industry in China and a crucial pillar of consumption for Chinese households, second only to housing, the automotive sector is also a barometer for the medium to long-term economic climate. Its current sales slump is alarming. In such a social environment, many believe that the automotive industry in China is facing, or has already entered, a winter period. The government's car purchase subsidies might provide temporary support, but the industry's challenges persist.